So hey guys, it is Vlogmas Day 17, and as you can probably tell, I'm filming over here because I'm doing a time jump. <laughs> I didn't film an intro this morning because I didn't want to have to put on makeup and do hair and stuff, and I was looking like a hot mess. So I'm filming the intro now, and now that we've said hello, we're going to time jump back to this morning. So I'll see you guys there. So it's day 17. Let's do the zoom zooms. Gotta move Tink out of the way. Should block in the door. There we go. Let's see. It's a zoom. Wait, what? Who is this? Oh my gosh, it's zero. I was not expecting him, and I am thrilled. <laughs> it's so perfect. Nightmare before Christmas and. He's yet another person to add to our sleigh chain here. So if we don't get a bigger sleigh, I will be shocked. There you go. Zero with your nose so bright. Won't you guide a mystery sleigh tonight? <laughs> we shall see. Okay, for the body shop, first of all, I noticed there's a day 25 for the body shop. I realized this yesterday. That's interesting. I mean, I'm all for getting something on the 25th day, but usually advent calendars end on the 24th. So let's see, 17, what are you, 17, oh, 17 is long and tall. It is an eyebrow and brush comb. That's cool, I will use that. Not quite as exciting as a uh, body butter, but I will use it's it. It's finally happening, yeah. oh. watching the Santa Claus. And really I've got the stuff out to start wrapping gifts. Bear's gonna keep me company. So I was about to rave about the really adorable things that I got from Walmart this year to wrap gifts with, but I got this box, a decorative box, and it had this giant sticker on the front. I'm like, oh, surely it's going to be one of the easy peel. Nope, it's stuck. So working on peeling that off, but it is a really cute box, obviously. Cars with trees, I love that theme. Clearly I needed this one with a cacti Christmas theme. But wait, there's more. Snowman, one of the little campers, and cacti. It's so perfect. So, so perfect. I loved it. And then I also got this one. Not quite as uh, cacti themed, but pretty nonetheless. I also got this cookie tin for when we start doing baked goods this week. It's almost time. As well as this cookie tin. Super cute. My little cardinals. They had these for a whopping 88 cents a piece. So I loved those and also, I also love these super retro little designs. Also 88 cents a piece. It looked like something Cabana Bay would have for their Christmas celebration. So had to get those. And then the last item for my little mini Walmart haul was this little, it's, you know, it's a cheapy little plastic plate, but I just love the look of it with the poinsettias. And it'll be cute to put some appetizers on for Christmas Day. Colby and I are gonna start wrapping. I'm gonna give him his chew back so he'll stop looking sad. Here you go. <laughs> so he's gonna work on chewing that. And I'm gonna watch the Santa Claus while I wrap. gift wrapping is done. Now we're in the car heading to go to dinner for Mike's mom's birthday. So a little late birthday dinner. And we're pretty excited because we're going to Papa's Seafood and that place is delicious. Awkward thumbs up because no other thumbs up. <laughs> you are the worst. So let's put the camera down. I just learned that 
Colby can do a new trick that I didn't teach him. Dad's been teaching him. You ready? High fives! <laughs> <laughs> Typical. High fives! Come on! High fives! Oh, good boy! Good boy! You did it! <laughs> Want to do it again? He's like, Mom, I'm already on three times. I'm done. <laughs> this is high fives, right? Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> All right, he's done. <laughs> okay, so I'm switching hat locations for tonight. I just went through the hat because I was getting duplicates. So I pulled out a couple that were... Duplicates, roughly the same questions I've already answered, and some of those people had already asked more than one question. So I pulled those out, and in the process, I found two that were basically the same question. So I'm cheating a little bit, and I'm gonna answer that one tonight. The first question was from Kathy Goodman, and she asked, what is my favorite Christmas tradition? It can be from my childhood or something new that you and Mike do. Stacy Brown also asked a similar question of what's my favorite tradition, but she had a second question. I'm going to answer her second question next. So for the first one, my favorite Christmas tradition that we used to do when I was little and I have carried into my relationship with Mike is going to look for Christmas lights. So when I was little, we used to put on pajamas and we would go to Christmas Card Lane, which was a little display in Arcadia. I actually showed the current version of it in my Vlogmas two years ago. So I will link to that so you can go see. It was much more grand when I was little, but it was in that same exact spot. And so we'd get on pajamas, or at least I would, <laughs> and blankets, and we'd drive to go see Christmas Card Lane, and then we'd go around town and look at Christmas lights. So that is something that we still do now. I have brought Mike into that tradition. We were actually just talking about it because we had thought about doing it tonight. And then we went to dinner and we're both stuffed and just kind of tired and sleepy. <laughs> So I think we might be going to do it tomorrow night. In previous years, we'd stuck to the Christmas Eve, but because this family does such a large meal on Christmas Eve, we've decided to do it a little early this year. One, not have to rush out of their house to go look at lights before people turn them off because it's Christmas Eve, so everyone's like, you know, getting ready for Santa. So we're gonna go a little earlier this year to hopefully have a better shot at seeing lots of lights. We will get all cozy and cozy clothes, and we will drive around town looking at Christmas lights and looking for the best displays and it's something we've done every year of our relationship so far and definitely one we intend to continue so that's my favorite and then Stacy Brown also wanted to know what is my favorite Christmas song oh, this one is tough because I feel like it changes all the time for me um, I love sleigh ride the traditional just instrumental sleigh ride I love the most wonderful time of the year that one is always a favorite of mine. You know, answering this made me realize two things. One, I have not played the NSYNC Christmas album yet this year, which is a travesty. And two, I have not listened to any Mannheim Steamroller yet this Christmas, which that's not okay either. I love Mannheim Steamroller and I love the NSYNC Christmas album. So the acapella, Oh Holy Night from NSYNC, one of my favorites. And then there's a bunch of Mannheim Steamroller songs that I absolutely love. And then of course, Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you. I mean, that is, that. I mean, it's not classic, but it is modern classic. So I'll go with those. Those are my favorites. But now I definitely need to listen to some Mannheim Steamroller. Maybe that's what I'll listen to. I've got 20 minutes left on the Santa Claus that I had to stop it in order to go to dinner. I still got a bunch of presents to finish wrapping. So I think I'm going to go watch the last 20 minutes of Santa Claus. And then for the rest of it, I'm going to listen to Mannheim Steamroller while, while I wrap. What are you doing, little baby bear? Are you doing a little investigating? Did you get busted? I'm just going to stretch. <laughs> All right, got supplies back out. Time to continue wrapping. Yep, this is definitely what my Christmas was missing. Now it feels real.
this last batch is done now. I still have a few more packages coming in the mail in the next week, but most of the wrapping is done. So now it's time for advent calendars. Looking for day 17. Guys, I can't find it. Ah, here it is. It was hiding in the present. And it's a present! <laughs> a present in the present. Here it is. That one's gonna be super tasty because it's pretty big. Wear your Christmas jumper. 17 was a little easier on this one. It is a regular one. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit afraid to open this one now, but here we go. Day 17. Whew. All right, two good days in a row. Mmm, gingerbread. My favorite. We actually have gifts under the tree now. Well, I'm packing this box for my parents, which first of all, just noticed that they got Rudolph wrapping paper. So I see my bumble, he's right there. So that's cool. <laughs> but I'm packing it, I'm like, wow, everything smells really good. And I figured these are stocking stuffers based on my mom's note, so I was just gonna put them aside. And then I picked up this and I'm like, huh, something smells really, really good. I wonder what this could be. <laughs> I have no guesses what this could possibly be. The entire box smells amazing. <laughs> so anyway, the stocking stuffers are going to go in their own little pile. And I will put them out so that Santa can put them in the stocking for us. Because Santa's nice like that and we'll do that. So there he is. I need to watch this one this week too. I have it set aside. I try to save my favorites for the week right before Christmas. So that's one. It's under the tree for me, and this is actually the gift from Michelle that's waiting to be opened December 25th, so. So there you have it. I have it all organized too, so those are Jeff's gifts, and then Mike's mom's gifts, and his dad's gifts, my gifts, and then that corner is all Mike. So the other exciting thing is that my Erin Condren planner came today for 2018, and they were doing a deal where if you bought one cover, you got another cover free. So I got this one to put on now for the next couple weeks, Christmassy themed. And this one is also technically Christmassy themed, but I thought I could use this for longer than just Christmas because it's kind of abstract poinsettias. And then this is my new planner for 2018. I figured I already have my cacti from last year, and if you're not familiar with Erin Condren, the the front and back covers are removable and you can exchange them back and forth. So I figured I could just keep using the cacti one if I want to, so I got a different one. I just thought this one was really pretty, so. Otherwise, inside, it's pretty much the same thing because I just got the neutral once again, so. Ready. Oh, the calendar does look a little different. So now the sticker planner people are gonna have to create new ways of doing this, but. I guess they do that on purpose to try to get you to buy their stickers, so. So there it is, it's so pretty. I love it. Merry Christmas from Erin Condren. So Mike has joined me and we're getting ready to watch some Stranger Things because that's totally a Christmas movie, right? And uh, he's trying to convince Foster to get in the heated blanket with him and Foster's actually grumbling. I don't think you realize, Foster. Mm -hmm. It's a heated blanket, it's so dude. Warm. It's so warm, can you, buddy? Okay. I have been convinced, <laughs> literally, in, into your lap. <laughs> That's what she wanted, right? He's just on top of your lap. <laughs> just like that. That's fine, right, Dad? Step. I'm okay. lap dog. I'm small lap dog. Oh no, okay, I guess I'll come over here. <laughs> okay, ready for some stranger things. Such a Christmassy, Christmassy show. Okay guys, so we made it through episode six of Stranger Things. We have three episodes left. Of course, they ended on a dang cliffhanger. We want to keep watching, but it's like almost 2 a.m. So we're gonna go to bed. Again, I have tomorrow off. I took tomorrow off, so. So I'm gonna sign off for tonight, but we will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>